Hello there and welcome back to another video here on the Master Moldy channel. I've just recorded the intro to yesterday's video. I have no idea how that video has turned out so be sure to check that out. I'll leave that on the end screen but I did show off in yesterday's intro the chopper that I've built from the new Lego Droid Factory. I can't remember the exact name of it but I was looking at this guy and I really really like the build. It resembles more of a Lego astromech than the actual model because of how chunky the legs and the feet are. But I realized I had most of the pieces. In fact, Lego have actually uploaded all the pieces from this set and not only this set, but I only checked Star Wars and all the August sets had already had their parts count available to buy. Well, at least all the ones that were sold on the Lego online pick a brick. So I don't know how long this will be going because now that I've found it, now that I've made a video and I'm telling all of you who are watching this video, Lego will probably get onto that and hide it until at least it's released. But it helped me to see any of the pieces I was missing. I built the legs and the bodies just based off the images. And then for the head, I really didn't know which way they went with constructing it. And I was only missing a handful of elements. So we will be taking a look at Chopper and reevaluating the set. I moaned so much about QTKT not being R2KT. And then we had the other droid which should have been Goldie from the Clone Wars R2D2 and Goldie they missed out on an amazing opportunity but I guess they wanted a more original trilogy-esque droid they didn't even include one from the sequels I guess BB-8 and Dio don't exactly fit in and R2KT would have definitely covered the sequels but I think many fans would have preferred to have got a Goldie in that set instead but I have to be honest and let you know that I have played with this droid for hours last night. I only built it late and it's really interesting how the extra wheel works because Chopper's the only one of these droids that has the rubber wheel on the bottom here, which you can see is a piece we've got quite a few times before. I actually have a few of these on the Bricklink store. So if this isn't a piece that you've got and you would like to purchase this to build your own Chopper, then definitely check out the store when it is up again there will be an update when everything is up and running the legs do pop off quite easily so i'm not quite sure how lego have made their model but the droid as a play toy and a display toy it looks really really cool you can see the head does swivel 360 and you can give it a big spin just like chopper does when he shows up in the ahsoka show speaking of actually I have a few of my custom accessories here as well. One of which is this thermal detonator, which does clip into Chopper's hands here on the side. So you can have him just throwing these bombs at his enemy. But there are a few other things I think Lego could have included as well as the more goofier hats, rubber ducks, and all the other accessories. Now, if we were to pop off this panel on the front, it is in the set a corner white tile but I've included these two separate pieces because I think they could have included some accessories that we actually see these droids have in universe such as this prong of sorts that sticks out Chopper's chest and as they included these arms on the top which can be popped on and off if you want that smoother Chopper skull I think including some other accessories like this just works this an extra three pieces here and four if you want to include the other tile that Lego would have to include. That can always be a one by two with a clip piece on the right as well. And this would apply to any of the other droids. There are a bunch of other accessories like a lighter we could probably get similar to Chopper's head arms. But for whatever reason, Lego decided to go with the more fun accessories like the Dave Filoni hat which does look really really cool but I've also got this flamethrower here don't worry we are not going to be trusting Chopper with a flamethrower instead I'm going to be popping off his wheel at the bottom and equipping this rocket so we can have Chopper flying around and zooming across the screen like he does in Rebels he does I guess fly to an extent this does make him look more like a rocket and I am a big fan of these oversized arms are they arms are they legs I'd probably be more inclined to call them legs because they work with the scale of chopper Lego haven't tried to make some accurate sized legs which to be honest that this scale would be really hard to do and have instead sized it after their own Lego astromech 
But Chopper isn't the only droid in this set, and I do think that has to factor in for the price. I said it initially that this gap in the market, as far as price is concerned, is already filled by the bigger R2-D2. And to target families that perhaps have up to four children or two children and two adults that would love to build these droids with them, I do think they needed to make the set a bit cheaper. The biggest selling point of this set is quite literally the fact that this is the first time we have a brick built chopper in Lego form. I know a load of customs have been turning R2D2 into chopper for both of the different scales we've got the minute. But this really didn't need to be a £90 set. If we got Chopper and perhaps they gave us R2-D2 or one of the other droids and we could switch around a few pieces, R2-KT would go perfect with R2-D2. She's literally a pink version of R2. Just give us some extra pink plates and we can choose which one we want. Similar with Chopper, perhaps we can have some darker coloured pieces to make this an more Imperial Chopper or just another droid, I guess. There's no droid like Chopper. So perhaps we could have got another different colour for R2-D2. Or even just a few accessories like the Filoni hat for Chopper. Sell it at uh, about that £50 price and you have got a really good set. Especially if they're still going to include the anniversary minifigure. But I just don't see many people spending the money for this. And as I said, you can already buy the parts on Pick a Brick. So you're probably best doing that if you just want Chopper. But honestly... All that being said, I think Chopper is really, really fun, not only to build, but to play around with. I mean, I'm a full grown adult playing around with a toy that's probably meant for about nine plus based on some of the building techniques. They're nothing too hard, but the model I've built here is very fragile. So I'd recommend following Lego's instructions when they release them, um, usually a few days after the set comes out. But it's a shame about the price that you have to pay. If you can afford the set, and you're not interested in Rebuild the Galaxy, Jedi Bob, Darth Jar Jar. Perhaps you're not fond of the Ahsoka set either, because if you haven't watched the show, you're not going to have an attachment to most of the characters. Well, I guess you could still probably want the Thrawn, but Ezra is a bit old. Ahsoka's not exactly how she shows up in any of the other content. And we also have the Sarlacc Pit, which... I don't see many people buying. There'll definitely be a few that are excited for the UCS Sal Barge, but if you're not looking at buying the Sal Barge, if LEGO do release it later this year, I'm probably right in thinking that the only reason you'd buy it is for Nine Num or Nine Num's torso to make a rebel friend, which I had a look on Pick a Brick. Nine Num's torso is a Star Wars element, so LEGO won't be selling it, but perhaps there'll be a few people that will replace theirs on Nine Num and try to sell only the torso to get a bit of the value back. But if you do really like droids and you can see yourself having all four of these built, I think it's a day one purchase. This is a really, really fun set. And as I said, I've only built Chopper, but the other droids are very, very similar. They all have an extra bit of their torso, which just clips on the bottom, which you can actually unclip for the rubber duck. I've seen a few reviews saying that the rubber duck doesn't work on Chopper. However, I'm pretty sure if you were to remove the wheel, you could still get the duck on as well as the Filoni hat. The accessories are fun. It's just a shame with that price. We should have just got Chopper and R2 and half the price. So let me know what you think of this set down in the comments. Will you be building Chopper? Because he is so, so fun and he's gonna remain on the background there at least for the next couple of weeks. Keep your eye out on future videos and be sure to drop a like if you did enjoy this video or you do like Chopper. Everyone likes our favorite war criminal. Subscribe for more awesome Lego Star Wars content. Check out all the videos on screen now and may the bricks be with you always.